I was having dinner with a cousin one time, and I think she was on Nutrisystem. And she has a little book out. And we're at the Red Lobster, because my grandmother loves Red Lobster. She can't believe it. <laughs> we're at Red Lobster. And she's looking in the book to find out what she could eat. And I said to her, what are you doing? She said, I'm looking to see how many calories I'm going to get for ABC. She said, I can only go up to 1,200 calories per day. I said, 1,200 calories per day? Are you crazy? You'll starve. There's no possible way you can do that. She said, only 1,200. I said, well, how many, calories do you, how many calories do you get for fruits and vegetables? What's your count for that? She said, doesn't matter. I can eat an unlimited amount. So you have to understand that the concept of eating more fruits and vegetables or engaging in a plant-based diet, everyone knows that it works and or it will help your situation. So again, gut and butt. Once you get these two going, this area, everything else falls into place. The arms, I call that more like the beautification stuff. You know, you got the strapless dress on, and you want to look good going out there. I'm training a lady now who's getting married in September, and one just got married in November, and I taped her doing exercise. She was doing a reverse fly. You sit down and you pull back, and I taped it for her and I showed it to her. I'm like, yeah, you're looking good. She's like, yeah, I'm jacked. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now I call her Jack. <laughs> so yeah, you want to be jacked, but we got to be strong here. I, I see your food journey. Yeah. Where do you get your um, protein from? Ah, ah, this is so funny. I just thought about this a couple of days ago. You folks are in here, in here are kind of young. Anyone remember Popeye? Um, Popeye, the sailor, yeah. man. Yeah. Why was Popeye so strong? Yeah. Spinach. He wasn't eating beef. <laughs> Spinach. So, what I'm saying to you is that there's enough protein in vegetation. You have to eat more produce to overcome these metabolic diseases. And the three biggest concerns of employers when I speak in a corporate setting regarding health and wellness would be cancer, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. Those are the three things that drive up their cost the most regarding health care. We have to take care of those things by doing what we can do at the dinner table and in the kitchen. We cannot rely on the doctor to do everything. For the most part, we're wasting a lot of the time of the doctors because we're not coming in preparing ourselves and doing what we can do. What is the difference between eating something that has added sugar and eating fruit? When you eat something that has added sugar, there's no fiber in it normally. When you eat fruit, there's fiber in it. Fiber mitigates the absorption rate of the sugar from the fruit. So when he says, don't consume too much sugar, what he should really be saying is don't consume too much added sugar. How do we change our eating habits? What do we think about food? Because this topic to me is mm, great as far as overcoming metabolic diseases. We understand the concept of exercise. Everybody understands that you have to move more. But exercise stops you from becoming injured. It builds muscle strength, bone strength, but it doesn't necessarily help you when it comes to overcoming metabolic diseases like cancer, type 2 diabetes, heart disease. You know, I know a lot of folks who are thin, but they have a lot of problems. So food, as far as I'm concerned, is the way to remedy many of those problems. Okay, now regarding the old six-pack thing, depending on the fascia in your stomach, that will determine if you got four or six or eight or 12 or zero. The thing is though, you just don't want to have like a big pinch there. You know, just like I got this thing now that's happening over here. It's not making me, like here and here, these are my weak spots. And my wife used to, <sighs> well, I'm not getting that much love, so I ain't gonna love it. <laughs> I need more love. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you don't want to grab too much, but you do want it to be flat. You do want it to be firm because the firmer your abs are, the more it just helps your entire core and especially your lower back. There's also, I don't eat meat. haven't done so in 33 years. You know, just, just my philosophy. I don't do dairy either. All right? I haven't done that in 33 years. Unless it's purely, let me be honest, unless it's purely by mistake. Sometimes I'll eat something and somebody will come to me later and say, you know that had blah, 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 chicken stock in it. I'm like, oh, God, I ate chicken. <laughs> 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 you made me eat chicken. I didn't know. So there have been times where there have been mistakes and I've eaten these things, but never on purpose for 33 years. I just had a conversation with this young, lovely young lady over here about the Book of Daniel. The Book of Daniel. Has anyone ever read that? Yeah. 
what happened? Daniel had a little, little contention with the people who captured him. And they wanted him to eat the king's food in order to perform a certain task. Daniel said, you know what, I don't want to eat the king's food. Let us just have me and my friends here, let us just have our fruits and vegetables. And if in a certain period of time, if we don't do better, then we'll eat the king's food. What happened? He ate his food, the fruits and vegetables, and they did far better. Far better. The problem I have with the Daniel fast is this. I know a lot of church goers, and they get mad at me when I say this. They, they hate me. They'll do their Daniel fast for like two, three weeks. And after that, the party's on again. <laughs> this is a lifetime commitment. We're talking about being in tip-top physical condition and beating cancer through natural means. Now, I want to dig into that a bit. You're a certified personal trainer. Yes, I've seen you around Montclair. You are motivating and inspiring a lot of people That's to get in, into shape, right? <laughs> uh, be healthy and make good choices. Um, what was your dream, and are you living that dream? Right now, oh wow, I'm in the thick of it, and I'm loving it. My goal is just to inspire people, and you know, I've always thought, I don't know if there's really a meaning to life, but what feels good to me is to inspire people and to have them inspire me. So that's what I do with my clients. I'm trying to get them to go from point A to point B or wherever it is that they want to go, physically and mentally. And also now that I'm into the nutritional world, nutritionally. So how do we inspire each other? That's basically what I'm all about.